everybody. Um, I know this isn't my usual setup, normally I would be in the dining room, but at the moment it's just much more comfortable for me to just stay on the sofa, so that is why the background is very plain and boring, I'm afraid, for today. But I just wanted to nip on and say hello to everybody and thank you all very quickly for all of the lovely messages that you've left since having my surgery and things. I have read every single one of them but obviously I haven't had the time to reply to everybody but I do just want to say a huge thank you for that, it really did mean a lot so thank you very much. And I just wanted to explain without oversharing as to why I've been able to do whip videos but not necessarily a tutorial and that is purely be down down to the fact that I just um basically since just before Christmas I haven't really been sorry let me just get a bit more comfortable <laughs> since since just before Christmas I haven't really been able to eat particularly so um for months I was living off half a slice of toast a day with a glass of apple lucasade to try and keep my sugar up and things and so I was actually, I still am, shaking quite a lot um, and also that's down to you know low blood pressure and all of the th things that go alongside so yeah so I was able to do whip videos because I could still physically crochet and show you what I'd made but I didn't really think that anyone would want to be watching tutorials that were done with really shaky hands so that is the reasoning behind whip videos and no um, actual tutorials so yeah but anyway I've had my some surgery now I'm probably gonna have some more um, relatively soon potentially but once surgery is done and I've been able to eat a, a lot better already so hopefully maybe by the end of this week or next week we might see some actual tutorials coming for the Whirly Modern Baby Blanket I know loads of you have been waiting for that and also that beautiful spring meadow blanket but while I was on today I just thought I would let you see a little something else that I've started if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen it already anyway but with my Siobhan's Craft Advent mini hand dyed yarns I've started making some beautiful granny squares so my nana always used to make granny square blankets she made sure that everybody in the family had um, a granny square blanket somewhere and she always these were always referred to as Joseph blankets because um, it reminded her and us of Joseph and his amazing dream coat so this is one of the ones that I have here which is one of my nannas that she made and that is just a, a general granny square and so I wanted to make a really special blanket with all of the yarns from Siobhan so I've got my little basket here and so of each of those 24 mini yarns I've been making little granny squares now obviously I will at some point lay all of these out so that you can see what they are all like but they're all super bright and really gorgeous and yeah you've got some more I'm just hoping the camera's going to focus but I don't think it is but um, yeah really really bright and some also some gorgeous pastel ones as well and so I'm going to use all of those but after each one I've been left with I would say quite a decent amount of yarn left over from each ball so I'm also going to be making up some additional squares where I'm going to mix and match and combine some of the yarns to make more squares and so I might get about 30 squares maybe out of the Siobhan's Crafts ones, the mini ones and then as a beautiful get well soon present from Laurelyn at Snuffle Bean Yarn she actually sent me a little care package of yarn last week which was a wonderful surprise and inside there were some um, yarn, hand dyed yarns from Wild Wool so I will leave all of her information in the description alongside with Siobhan's as well and so I've got these I've got this beautiful super bright mini I don't think that's I think that's focusing more on my face isn't it <laughs> so we've got the super bright mini and then we've got the rainbow set as well 
So I'm going to ball all of these up and these are obviously bigger than the advent yarns so I'll probably get two squares maybe out of each. So I think yeah, I think I'll probably get two out of each of those and I will incorporate them because they're super bright and neon just like the other ones from Siobhan's I think that they will blend really nicely. So that will obviously give me even more squares and then I am also thinking of adding, I'm looking up there because that's where all my all of my yarns are kept, I've got quite a lot of DK yarn from Siobhan's that I haven't used and depending how big I manage to get with all of those squares I may add some more of my bigger yarns into the mix as well because I really want to make a special good blanket that I can keep for forever basically and it's going to be super super bright and Siobhan's also dyeing me up some really pale grey so that is what I'm going to use to join all of them together so it's going to be really bright and then all of the join is going to be done with a really pale grey um, base so I'm really hoping that that will make the colours pop and that it will just look absolutely amazing so that is all I wanted to say in this video um, not exciting I know but I am up and I'm dressed and I've washed my hair and I've put on about 75,000 tons of makeup just to get to this so <laughs> it's been a, it's been an effort um, so yeah thank you all for your well wishes and thank you again to Laurel Lynn for my lovely package that was a wonderful surprise and I hope to be back to doing non-shaky video tutorials within the next few days all being well and thank you again for sticking with it I know it's been a bit of a, a long haul I, I do feel like I've been poorly for a very very long time um, so yeah it would be nice to get things back on track but I will see you again very soon bye for now